Today we're going to make a wind-powered rock tumbler. I'm in the process of making a whole bunch of sea glass so that I can make a translucent beach in my backyard. I started by using a couple of small rock tumblers. They did a great job of turning broken glass into sea glass, but they're noisy and use a lot of energy. For this wind-powered prototype, I'm going to start by making a large canister out of black plastic pipe. This is inexpensive, you can easily cut it to length, and you can get a watertight seal by using these rubber end caps. When I'm prototyping mechanical projects, I like to source components off of McMaster Car. They're a little bit pricey, but it's a really easy to navigate catalog, and they got a lot of stuff with really explicit diagrams explaining all the dimensions. I got a half inch diameter stainless steel shaft, some ball bearing mounts, and a couple of drive wheels. I screwed these on some scrap lumber, and the idea is that the drive wheels will rotate the canister directly. Now right away I ran into some issues because the drive wheels were not big enough to make contacts with the plastic pipe. So I had to get some rubber connecting joints which would increase the diameter of the canister so that it was equal to the end caps. I'm just trying to get clear of the tightening mechanisms that are on the stainless steel bands. All of these components just slide over the shaft and then I just tighten them with an Allen wrench. Next I just screwed on some cheap plastic wheels and within minutes I had a drive shaft that could rotate a tumbling canister. This is just a proof of concept so for now I just mounted it to a sawhorse. I will want to add some weight or secure, or secure this device to the ground because high winds out here in the desert could definitely blow this sawhorse over. I bought a fan propeller off of McMaster as well, but if I'm going to make a lot of these, I'm just going to go to thrift stores and look for old electric fans, and that should be a much cheaper way to get propellers. I've been cutting up wine bottles to make cups for my new house, and I just broke up the tops and used those to fill the canister with broken glass. I also added water and abrasive grit, and if you want to see a more detailed breakdown of that whole process, look for the link in the description, and you'll see my other video on using rock tumblers to make sea glass. Wind is pretty common in the desert, so I just placed a contraption in the backyard and was pleased to see that it was powerful enough to turn the canister. Although, after a few minutes of use, the canister slid off the drive wheels <laughs> and lodged itself into the propeller blades. I tried using some large rubber bands, but I couldn't quite find the right size and these ones were too strong and they kept the blade itself from turning unless there was extremely high winds. So instead, I used some L brackets and some more wheels to make wheel guides at either end that hold the canister in place. I let the tumbler go for about three weeks and I found that the sludge from all the ground up glass and broken down grit had really congealed into the bottom and that's what happens when you have sort of inconsistent use. This is why I tested dry tumbling before which actually worked well, just took even longer. But I think for intermittent wind conditions, dry tumbling is probably a safer bet. The glass came out great and now I'm scouring for more propeller blades so I can make a bunch of these. In the meantime though, I'm testing another way to scale up this idea. And that's using a cement mixer powered by my Goal Zero power pack and solar panel. This is working really well so far, and I'll post an update in a few months once I've built up a bunch of glass. Thanks. Bye.